Hey, I'm Dallas from DN Simple, and I'm here to show you how to add DN Simple as a secondary server to a DNS Made Easy primary server. Uh, why would you want to do this? Well, to add zone redundancy and reduce DNS downtime. As a first step, let's jump to the DNS records and take a backup. You can do this by clicking on export to a zone file. In this process, um, DNS Made Easy, you're going to be managing your records through them and they're going to be sending the records to, well, more correctly, we're going to be pulling the records from them and uh, so the records in your DN Simple dashboard are going to be overwritten. Um, so if, if there's anything in there you care about now, um, now is the time to do the backup. All right, so we need to add a, a primary server. We can do that by clicking on Secondary Zones and clicking on add for a primary server. You can see I have one in there already. I'll add another one called DNS Made Easy 99. And this IP address, you can get it from the DNS Made Easy documentation along with the port number. So we create the primary server. It looks like it's been created. Now we need to head back to the DNS tab and configure the DN simple, the DN simple as secondary DNS for this zone. So when we click on configure, um, basically there's a couple caveats over here that you'll want to read through, um, and then there's a little definition of of what this is all about. So let's convert it to a secondary zone. Good. It looks like it was successfully converted. Let's link it to the primary server we just created. DNS made easy, number 99. All right, looks like we're all linked up and the records, we can expect them to show up um, any minute now after, of course, we need to do the, the setup on the DNS made easy side. So here we go. Um, over here, the first step is to add the DN simple AXFR servers. So we can do that under advanced transfer ACL. And so um, you can see that I have two, two servers in there, two server sets in there already. And I can add another by clicking the pencil. And for the IPs, we can grab them from this support article at DN Simple called Add DN Simple as a Secondary DNS Server. Near the bottom, you'll see the values for production and sandbox. You can put both of these in um, comma separated and hit submit and you should be um, good to go. And then we'll head back over to uh, dnsimple.click and we need to configure this domain to use that AXFR server and we can do that by selecting it here and clicking save. Looks like it was successfully saved so that's good. And what we can expect now is when we head back to DN Simple um, and reload the page, the value should be there. Um, this sometimes takes a couple minutes, so why don't you go grab a cup of coffee? A few moments later. All right, so it looks like the zone was last transferred less than a minute ago, and it has the values from DNS Made Easy. Super cool. All right, let's do another test and um, add an A record. Call it test and we'll make it uh, quad eights. Submit. Looks like it was successful. And now we can expect to head back to DN Simple and see those values reflected as a, a carbon copy essentially. Um, you might want to go grab some sugar for your coffee. <laughs> it takes a minute or two. Eventually. All right, like magic, here it is. Uh, we have our A record test.dnsimple.click at quad eights. Cool. All right, so now that we know that everything is syncing how it's supposed to, uh, it's a good time to update our name servers. Um, if you have registered your domain through dnsimple, you can head to the domain tab and um, edit delegation. And so here, um, you can see that we have four DN Simple name servers. We might want to use two DN Simple and four DNS Made Easy or whatever combination you're comfortable with. Um, you can grab the DNS Made Easy name servers um, from the name servers tab 
in your DNS Made Easy account for that domain um, and drop them in there and click change name servers. All right, so from that, um, that's basically it. And now I'm just gonna show you how to undo the changes we just did. Uh, it's, uh, let's head to the secondary zones tab, dnsimple.click, and um, down here is how we convert it to a forward zone. Now a forward zone is a typical zone that you expect. Uh, it's using dnsimple as a primary server. Um, and you manage your records through DN Simple dashboard. Um, so you can see that we can't do it right now. We need to unlink any primary servers uh, first. That's easy to do. We hop up here and click unlink primary server. Uh, looks like it's been removed. And now if we hit convert, um, you can see that there are a couple uh, warnings um, that converting this zone uh, we'll cancel AXFR updates. Uh, of course, this is what you're trying to undo. And then you might uh, need to adjust the delegation if you had updated your name servers. So it's a good idea to have a peek at that. So if we hit convert, and voila, we're back to where we started, um, just using DN Simple as primary, um, as you'd expect. The only final step, if you really wanted to get back to where you were, you could import your zone file. So that's about it. That's how to use DN Simple as secondary DNS with DNS Made Easy. Hopefully this helps and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our Twitter and YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for using DN Simple. See ya.